They had some drugs. <laughs> they wanted to smuggle. And I only smoke like that for I only smoke for real free. I smoke, I smoke like once a year. So they, they had out the weed and all that shit, some other shit up in the in they had. So they had to try to find a way to, to smuggle it back to <laughs> back at the airport. I damn had, had to put that shit on the scale or whatever. That shit just bust over like a can of biscuits, y'all. Like that. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Horror Stories 205. Today, you got your boy Reggie from IT. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's your boy, Nick. It's your boy Jack Frost. I'm real cold. It's real cold out of there, guys. It's Jack Frost right here. You look like you're going to go deliver a package. Bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm going back to the mail, man. I'm telling you, bro. Man, I just seen uh, a girl out there with a sweater and the short shorts running. Right but I guess when you like running and you get a little know what they is though they ain't they oh, ain't well, us they are Palm Angels. But, uh, <laughs> they got that then skin. I seen another dude, short sleeves, shorts, ankle socks. I said, oh, this nigga is a menace. It was boy. a nigga. Nah, uh, yeah. wig my bad. Yeah, this wig is a menace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they got that thick skin, man. When they I beat guess us so, back forty years ago, they got that thick skin. They don't, they don't care nothing about it. I'm just bullshit. Oh my life, I had <laughs> to fight. fight <laughs> Oh man, that's just crazy. You had a good uh, Christmas. Oh yeah, man, I had a good Christmas, good New Year, all that good stuff. Man, I forgot to ask you for real, for real. Nah, nah. What you got? I think you did. I ain't getting nothing. Some socks. My niece had bought me some church socks. Uh, <laughs> the, the pastor, he bought me some socks and a handkerchief. Two niggas really think your feet be cold, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I guess they want me to damn dress up more. Want me to be Jack Swagger or some shit? I don't know. They want me to be, be Jack Swagger. They want me to wear dress clothes and all that shit. Spike for that. Mama bought me a suitcase from that story we, from that time we had in Vegas. Man, that was a good time, boy. <laughs> it, it wouldn't have been the story it was or the time it was without that final finale. That's the album. I, I was supposed to still be in jail right now. Fuck with y'all, like, <laughs> boy. Yeah, man, I, I'm not even sure what the play would have been because, like, do I just take it or do I just like? You know what I'm saying? Just pay the bond yeah. off and then we just take off and just never come back. Because you only got to pay ten percent. So, I mean, if we come together and get 10%, we'll get you up out of there, but you know what I'm saying? You can't really split the drugs three ways. <laughs> Somebody got to take the I don't know. Out. I don't know if we told the story on here, but we down with the Vegas or whatever. We, we, we had left out of Tennessee, but on our way back or whatever, and they had they had some drugs. <laughs> they wanted to smuggle. And I only smoke like that. For, I only smoke for real free. I smoke, I smoke like once a year. So they, they had out the weed and all that shit, some other shit up in the in they had. So they had to try to find a way to, to smuggle it back to damn Tennessee and back to Birmingham. Which there. was incredibly easy. Walk so, past the dog and everything. So we damn uh <coughs> I bought where well, I yeah, down there I had bought some protein or whatever. <laughs> whatever that fucking is. <laughs> I bought some protein or whatever. So we had took some of that shit out, the the bag, the protein bag, and put the damn weed. And all the other uh, drugs and narcotics <laughs> inside of the damn protein bag and shook this shit up or whatever. Oh, so, boy. and then they didn't have any room in their suitcase for this shit. So, they put it in my suitcase. And my suitcase was damn down to his last leg, literally. <laughs> I had that shit. Was, it was my mama's suitcase I had for a while from all them, all them, all them vacations I went to. I went on. So, yeah, that shit barely was zipping up. So, I don't know how the fuck it even zipped up anyway. So damn, we we back at the airport. <laughs> back at the airport, I damn had, had to put that shit on the scale or whatever. That shit just bust over like a can of biscuits, y'all. Like that shit just busted open. Everything you see, draw socks, wife beaters, all this shit in the middle of the, the middle of the airport now, and you see the damn protein bag on the floor. I'm like, oh lord, oh lord, they they just watching, laughing at it's that oh. shit. So I'm, I'm keep my composure. I, I had to hop over on they side. Oh, they said, grab some tape. And I'm just wrapping that bitch up. I'm wrapping that shit up. I'm like, everybody just licking. Oh. I just killed my composure. They weak or whatever. I'm like, now nah, if something happened, y'all ain't getting y'all shit. And I'm gone. I'm not coming back. So, oh, damn. Boy. So, I guess boy, my mama, she ain't know that part of the story. I don't think she know was I broke her suitcase. So, damn. So, damn. Criminal this year, she had with her last year, she had bought me a damn suitcase for criminals. Crazy. Oh, boy. That shit was like know. some shit fresh out of cartoon, bro. That shit was crazy. Because they made bro. me check in down there, and it was UKP and Pat. Boy, that shit looked like uh when a nigga hit you on Mario Kart, bro. <laughs> like just everything, everything on the floor. Everything, coins, <laughs> bananas, all that shit, the green shells and everything. And mind you, if it went for the protein powder, that shit would have looked even worse, nigga. It just would have been white powder. <laughs> just oh, shit. <laughs> like, Mr. Jackson, what the hell are you doing? 
Oh, <laughs> you know how they be, boy. They be condescending. Say, oh, we got El Chapo. <laughs> hey, boy, I would have been fucked up, boy. That should have been crazy. Yeah, I would have. I would have pulled a gun on. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm going back over to my clients. Fuck this. That's crazy, bro. We would have got you out, bro. I don't know about the rest of them court cases, nigga. You would have had a warrant, but it's just in Vegas. I mean, how often are you on that side, for real? It ain't, I ain't that off, but I still want to go back, though. <laughs> I still want to go back. It's all good. Well, nah, they flagging your shit. They flagging your shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that shit, nah. Fucked up. Nah, it would have nah, been, nah, been, nah, been, been fucked up. It's something I'd never forget. Well, no, nah, you could have... Got in through another state. That's, <laughs> some, bu- that's some bullshit, though. <laughs> that shit is an all-time story, bro. That, mind you, that's like our first first trip together. So, like, first time me and Pat. Yeah, damn. First time yeah, me maniac, and KP. Yeah, maniac, <laughs> first time me, you, and KP. And damn, they've been in the same room, for real, for real. No, nah, we've been in the gym together. Besides, besides the gym, yeah, the same room. It. Well, matter of fact, that was, like, since he uh had moved away. It's like when that nigga moved away, bro. We all the takes, yeah, my nigga. When I just, it, yeah, we got when I said I moved it down Lake Show. Yeah, you yeah. stay over there. He moved it down Atlanta. Here yeah, I go on that separate way. That's crazy. Matter of fact, that was a fucked up ass. Like, Damn, unprofessional. Bill collectors, man. Bill collectors. <laughs> I ain't paying pay, pay, pay my taxes. Two <laughs> turned up. Ooh. But uh, that was all that was some bullshit though. Cause you remember that uh, night before? What, what we was Nashville? We flew out to Nashville. Ain't know the lady was tripping by the Airbnb. Oh yeah. Talking about, uh, yeah, since the last people that was here kind of like messed everything up, we got to tack on the extra 200. I said, what the fuck they got to do with me? (laughs) Like, what do you mean? Like, no. I told her, like, no, bro. It's just not going to happen. She did. She went out to the phone. Yeah, damn. Then, like, we going to take pictures, take screenshots of, like, her whole little uh, Airbnb listing. Huh, as the lead shit as we go. And I said, damn. I said, fucking fraud, boy. That is crazy. Fraudulent. Then we reported shit to Airbnb. She came back. Yeah, damn. Dropped the key code and everything else. Then had nerve to come back. It was like, uh, make sure you rate your stay. I was like, you don't want that. You don't want that at all. Should've, you should have done one star if you could. I was gonna say, if I got the time, I'm gonna tell the whole story. You're not gonna like that at all. I would have made time for that shit, boy. You should have made time for that. You gotta be careful, bro. You know your card on the uh, on the file and shit. So it's like, bro, I can't have you making up some shit to be petty, cause. It take a long ass time to get your money back from Airbnb. Mm-hmm. So like, uh, one time I had uh, fucked up and got down, had to cancel a trip from Airbnb, but it was outside the little cancellation period. Mm-hmm. But like, dude was trying to work with me, and he just started replying. I was like, nigga, I would have took half. I mean, shit, like anything really. So I had to end up going to regions. Like, hey, I, I need something, and she, she, uh. Just happened to be going on an Airbnb vacation like that same week, so I guess she a traveler for real. So she gave me all my money back. Traveling, she just traveling. Hey man, it pays to have them good relationships with your bank. But I remember a point in time, boy, they used to call me and tell me how their account looking. I said, man, good times, bro. First time they called me, I was worried. He said, he said, Mr. Battle. So like, yes, this is so and so from Regions. So I said, ah oh, shit. I said, what's what's wrong, bro? He said, just calling on behalf of your account. I said, damn, what's wrong with it? Cause I was at work too. He's like, ah, oh, just call him tell you everything look good. I said, man, don't do that shit. Why no ain't man. Man, he ain't doing man, check-ins don't, with I you. said, don't do that no more, man. Shit, that was, that was the first time, first and last. Thank you with a good work, didn't it? I guess. <laughs> I guess. I was thriving at the time, so that's why I was so shook. I said, bro, I'm at work too, nigga. Like, Walmart at that. So, you know, I can go explain the whole situation. They still not going to let me off. Crazy. Exactly. Shit, you got any uh, <clears throat> vacation planned or whatever? You're always going on all your other vacations. You going with your base somewhere? Y'all going... Oh. Cancun, Tulum, y'all going to? Yes, actually. Oh, what? Birthday. Uh, you you? A cruise. You and uh, Mrs. Battle? Ah, that's, that's far. That's far. That's yeah. Far. Even I say it, and she she said that's far. I said, wow. Oh. I said, you don't want to claim it. Shit, like, man. Man, let's grow. That would have hurt my feelings. Man. <laughs> that would have hurt my feelings. It would have, but we, we both don't. If, uh, if I call you Mid Jack. We both on the same mm-hmm. road, like trying to progress in our, our careers and shit. So we know like what's first. <clears throat> and she's still in school, so she got to like get in her career. And mm-hmm. mind you, I've been out of school for three years. Shit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and I just got in mine, so it's like, shit. Shit takes time, man. Shit takes time. Mm-hmm. And she's she got a lot sweet. more school to go through, so it's like, ah. So, like, we already talked about the little marriage, kids, and all that shit. So it's like, let's just wait. Kids, we're still wrapping it up. 
I don't, I don't, I am not on the pill anymore. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, what they call them? We, we're still working with a contraceptive, a very trusted one. Sure, I, I love that <laughs> shit, that boy. I love that shit, boy. I, I, I didn't trust that shit at first. I, I'm bro. like a tweak in that one. That, <laughs> that shit in your way. Yeah. <laughs> that my I little tweak right there. Shit, I only bro. do it with one person who I who I just leave you there one person. But yeah, that, 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 that my little twink. I'm, I'm going to change the emoji, little twink. If it, do they have a twink emoji on? <laughs> I'm going to put a little twink in my emoji. Well, when I was looking crazy. for an outrageous emoji, I just type it in. I was like, they got it, they got it. Or oh, they'll give me something close. I'm like, fuck it, I work. <laughs> Cream. <laughs> oh, I got uh lotion, but uh <laughs> what the fuck we got a lotion emoji. Ice cream, damn ice cream, uh it's two ice creams. Ice cream come in a bagel with cream in between. I mean I, I could, That's I the could one. Work. That's a the bagel, one. two buns and some cream in between that motherfucker. <laughs> that don't work, goddamn. But uh I did not trust that shit at first. Cause I'm like, bro, no kid. Like yeah. usually it's the pill. But but when they got that motherfucker in their arm, it's like well, I know this is a little bit superior to that pill. And then one day I just finally did, and I was like, shook, nervous, distraught. But luckily, like, her period was like the next week. So if I if I had oh, to goddamn, boy, uh, buddy. Hey, if I had to thug it out with a little worry, it only would have lasted, like, what? I guess you'd probably worry if you, like, two, three days late. So it only would have lasted, like, a good 10 days before the panic set in, but. Motherfucker came all the time. I said, Shh, "Express shit, man." Good, boy. Yep, 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 yep. How you how you meet this young lady? Where like, y'all where y'all find? Where y'all saw each other? It was like a tender, love at first swipe. Or Bumble. It was a hinge. Was it? Hey, Devin said. Yeah, K. It was Walmart. <laughs> but she went my associate. Like she was working there, and she I was, was a customer. A, oh damn. Yeah, but uh, you say, hey, real. um, do you know where the where the paper towels are? <laughs> I, I need help over here. Or, uh, where are the condoms? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my homie had, uh, threw me a log. He was like, "Man, I got somebody. I'm. I know you gonna fuck with." I was like, uh, "Why you think I'm gonna fuck with this person?" He gave me a list. I said, "Well, my friend, you may know me very well." <laughs> I said, "Does this sound like me?" I was oh, so he worked there and you didn't. Mm-hmm. Man, when when you worked there, I was a customer. I've been I've been waiting for the log. I'm still waiting on the log. I'm like, damn, LeBron went through that. None of mine. Mine was either crazy. I like crazy. Uh, nah, not that type of crazy. Either crazy. Uh. Well, what's the word? Delusional, or the best. Uh, underage? You can uh, do, 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 do the best. You can manipulate them. Nah, <laughs> the, the delusional ones. <laughs> <laughs> just put your bullshit. Then the ones that's gonna come back and have you worried that your key, gonna, your car gonna be keyed up, got that oh, window yeah. gonna be broken. Shit, shit. I got, I got a damn nine one one. Just write three, three numbers. I can dial. Like go ahead, lay the law down, bro. So like, what you said to her? Like, what, what was your pickup line? What you said? Hey, um. I'm original. What's your name? What, I, think, what you, what uh, I think bro had like gave her my number. She texted me, like, let me know who she was. Hi. I was like, nah, that's like, that ain't gonna work for me. So I hit him up. I was like, she at work today? Because I think I got off early for regions. He pulled up on her. Yeah, yeah. He pulled yeah, up on her, yeah, y'all. He pulled up on her. He ain't got no pickup line. He gonna pull up on her. That's what you said to him when he pulled up on her. You know I me, mean, man. I'm a casual conversation guy. Hi there. Nah, that casual. I, don't <laughs> I ever say I hated nobody. Hey, I don't think I ever. Did. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> that just ain't me. What's up, baby? I'm, I'm <laughs> That's too. I'm original. Shit, I think uh, I can't even remember all the way, but I do remember going to Sporting Goods because what a homie uh, was working at. Dicks. We actually used to work together. No, no, no. no. Sporting Goods department of Walmart. <laughs> I was like, Dicks. I said, what, what about shit? I said, what department? So I went to the department. I walked past. I did it stealthily. I was still in. I was still behind the toys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got aisle by aisle by aisle. Mm-hmm. So I was behind the aisle. Then you got the. Yo, wait, like speak about. <laughs> I just walk past like I'm looking for something. I walk past like these. Like, I don't know, ain't you, huh? Yeah, 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 I had to make sure. And so I got I got the little scope out. I said, all right, all right, all right, all right. I can work with that. But she had a mask on. So it was like, I trust that my nigga wouldn't do me like that. Like, I trust he wouldn't let me put myself in this awkward, awkward uh, conversation and predicament. Mm-hmm. Mm. So yeah, man. Like, I guess like we both had got the hint denied because somehow she ended up in sporting goods when I was like, uh, <clears throat> when I was game planning. Then she came over there and I just, you know me, man. Mouthpiece, just one of a kind. Like, like what was the pick of like? What was still like? What did you throw at her? A draw two, a draw four? Or? I don't think I had one, bro. You like just, just casual ass conversation. Like, granted. This motherfucker right here, it gets you far, boy. You you yeah. find out a motherfucker in college, bro. Whether you in college or not, bro, you ask him like, 
You want to be like me? Yeah. You, if you know what college they go to, it's even better. But, like, you go to UAB? Yeah. Cool. I went to UAB. What you studying? Then you just go from there. I don't just say it to be UAB. <clears throat> yeah. Damn, of course, I already knew. I just got to warm, warm up the car. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, your, the so, so that's your best best pickup line. You go to UAB? <laughs> I mean, shit, I go to UAB. <laughs> <laughs> well, went to UAB, so I said, uh, for four years strong, boy, that motherfucker did not uh, do me wrong. Crazy. But yeah, man. So what up, though, though? See, yeah, I usually, I don't even use a, use a pickup line when I try to holler at shout out. I just I can't do a pickup line. Nah, because that seemed like you just, like, you, you damn... Like you an actor, you just playing we, like a little. We in 2023. Yeah, just right? like you walk up to a motherfucker, be like, "Hey, did it hurt?" I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, you fell from heaven. Did I it should, hurt? I like, what what the fuck? Like, are you my father? Because <laughs> he been missing it for 17 years, something like that. Because I've been looking for him for 17 years. I think I found some shit. It was some that's bullshit outrageous. Like that. That's worse. It was some bullshit like that. Or she got to feel like you just called him a nigga. I like. Um, <laughs> I seen one person say like, uh, he just saw a girl. He was like, "Hey, um." I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I was late. <laughs> they were like, "What?" <laughs> like, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm late. Um, how are you? Like, he he, he started talking as if he already knew the girl. And he just came to spite of it. Now that's that's fine. That's fine. I, that's fine. I That'll guess, work. I just man, it, if it you can start a conversation, what's, the, what's around? You could. It's depending on what's around. You can just say something what's around, like. Like I'll watch a day of Friday at the next for for Christmas a couple of weeks ago <laughs> or whatever when uh Craig had seen uh Donna he was like uh and like she was like outside the stove like spraying the little uh, the little spray paint snowman or whatever he was like I didn't know you could make a snowman in eighty degree weather and then after that they just started talking I'm like yeah but Craig smooth not him Craig on, on Friday <laughs> oh me too me too <laughs> and that's fine though that that's well, the type of shit you got to look for yeah, bro. you got to find you little shit. I think when we think of pickle lines, we be thinking like that old school cheese and shit. The yeah, one liners don't work. I, I feel it like can, but now work. the definition of a pickle line should be some shit to get your foot in the door. Like yeah. if it start a conversation, you good. So like you go to UAB, what you studying? That's gonna start it every time, yeah. especially if I know. Yeah. What's the best <clears throat> pickle line like a girl ever says like said to you or whatever? Are you uh, that guy from Horse Stories? Huh? <laughs> Believe it or not, I did get that one time. It was, it was like from from a shout Like she 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 tried to holler at you. That was like early it? stage, bro. It's like back in them uh, tender days still. So like uh, she had hit me up. She was like, "Hey, uh, I feel like I've seen you before." I was like, "I don't think you yeah, have. have this, I, I don't think you have." I was like, somewhere on Instagram, I was like, "Ah, that don't even sound right." But then she uh she mentioned a podcast. I was like. You wait got me. I said, wait a minute. You got me. <laughs> it's it's such a funny name. I can't think of it. I said, damn, that that might be me for real. <laughs> and damn, sure was. That went up right now. No, nah, it's not because that shit was trash. I mean, she 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 used something that could <clears throat> no, work no 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 not the pickle line. Oh, not the pickle line. The finale. It was trash. To my huh? Mm hmm. Oh, you uh. That, that was cream pie. You know, Twinkie. No no the bad oatmeal. Yeah. Oh yeah. no yeah. no yeah. Yeah. that was fucking his groupies. That is crazy. That's like a low light. That's a low light. <laughs> that is a low light of mine. That boy, you're fucking this great thing. He future. Now nah, I'm gonna fucking my group. <laughs> but uh, I think the best one part. Uh, I know. I, I get I get it all the time. Oh my gosh, you like Tupac? I'm like that. That better not be your best. One. No, it ain't. It ain't. It ain't. Oh, or, when I when I'm wearing my uh my hoop, get like you went to hoop. Uh, you play a hoop? I'm like nah, I ain't played that. I, I coached that. Like, okay, um, I went there with Woo. They said something about some hoover shit, or. They be like, I think I, I think I seen you before. Probably on Instagram, cause I don't know how, but so, sometimes I be I be on, on the damn explore page. No, you I'm get like, around, but I'm like, you damn. get around on that ground. I'm not Tupac, but <laughs> you get around. But yo, yeah, speaking of Instagram, man, you want to follow me, man? He hit, hit your boy up on Instagram underscore Nick Jack. Thanks, but uh, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, one girl was like, uh, she had she followed me. She had liked some of my stuff or whatever. And then I had sent like the the, the, the eyes to her emoji. I Me, mean, I, I sent the, the eyes emoji to her DM. And she was like, oh, I got this red dress I've been trying to wear for a while. They let me know something or whatever. I'm like, that was that was kind of clever. That was kind of clever. I, I like know. that. Yeah, I like, yeah, that. I like that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm like, it's kind of it's kind of neat right now. But uh, what else? I got hit with some fire shit, but I can't remember. Yeah. But only one time, because when yeah. women try. Yes, it be awful, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. But it's y'all, a, y'all, motherfuckers. Thank you I think I seen you somewhere before. I'm like, what, what, what you seen me? I can't, I can't put a finger on. It. I said, I probably, I probably was in your dreams or something like that. I don't know. But I was like, nah, nigga, it went there like that. I'm like, I don't know what you saw me at that. I'm, I'm the man of your dreams. Cause you come think about it. But uh, other than I that, hit that one, one time. The, uh, I can't put a finger on it. Yeah. But then I hit it one day, but I can put a finger in it. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Golly. I said two if you feel the frisky. <laughs> no. And I tell you, boy, 
I, I got to be like the most successful out of pocket nigga, bro, because that that one was also a, a dub. No, you <laughs> said that shit, boy. Hey, bro. What, what she said? Oh, you, you end up uh, banging. Absolutely. Damn. I can't put a figure on it. I, I can't put my finger in it. <laughs> God almighty. She was like, well, it has been a while. I said, damn, how long? You said it like off the flap, like as soon as you start yeah, her through. Like second, third. So, so, so you said, I said, I, I seen you from, from somewhere, but I, I can't I can't put my finger on it. Mm-hmm. And but. then right after, you gotta make sure you like separate the message. Though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can't just have it all at one. You look horny as hell. I can't put my finger on it. I can't put my finger in it. No. <laughs> I'm gonna get her with this one. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta yeah. let it breathe a little bit. Yeah, you gotta like, like twenty seconds, like twenty seconds <laughs> instead of the other way. Like whoa. No, not even 20 seconds. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta get Ten. my shit off, bro. Well, no, if I, I see on type and I, I get nervous, I'll be like, oh my God. I do some time. <laughs> I, I write the whole message out or whatever. And <laughs> then I copy, copy, paste it, then cut it, then yeah, send the first bro. part, then paste and send the other part. Yes, bro. The other part real quick. Yeah, man. This is what y'all don't know about being smooth in the DM, <laughs> man. <laughs> we made this like regular niggas to y'all, bro. Right. We do this shit, bro. <laughs> I don't do it no more, but boy. I, she, I, you I, crazy. I, I was acting. And I was very successful in my prime. Damn. I'm telling you, bro. Like, I, I just get to say a lot of out of pocket shit, and they just never take offense to it. And I don't, I don't know why. But, boy, it is working, boy. I tell you. Yeah. <clears throat> He's the whore, guys. And I'm, over, I'm uh, retired. A reformed whore. There we go. That's the word I wanted, too. What right? you think? What, what you think yo, your digital footprint is out here? Like, what, what, what you think, like, the most, the worst misconception? About you right now, like what? What you, what you think the, the, the masses think about? I'm you? a whore. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> to you. <laughs> Thanks to you. <laughs> I ain't say anything. You were here talking, buddy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Before whore stories, I probably didn't have one. I was probably just that nigga from high school. That Is nigga. It? That nigga Reggie. Yeah. That, exactly like that. Actually, <laughs> that nigga Reggie. <laughs> Or Lil Red. Whenever somebody talking about me, nah, that nigga Reggie, boy, that nigga there, boy. Don't be saying shit. That nigga there. That nigga Reggie. That nigga there. Don't be saying nothing, bro. That nigga there. That nigga there crazy. So I just get remembered. They don't have nothing else to add to it. No, but they know everything. They just spit the beans. Hey, exactly, bro. Because same people I see in high school that, like, we just, like, walk past. Maybe a nod. Maybe what's up here now and then. If they done seen the podcast, they they fuck with me now. And I ain't even saying, like, like, on no. You ain't fuck me back then. Why fuck yeah, me now? Yeah. But it's like, I guess I ain't really talked that much. So I only talked to like maybe four or five people, like as a core. I ain't even see you in high school. I've been knowing you most of my life, boy. I, seen, I, seen, <laughs> I had to let you be you, bro. I was like, man, I ain't seen this nigga since. since I, I barely saw you since early elementary. Yeah, so I, I don't barely, even know what you like these yeah, days. I barely saw your ass. I'm like that's crazy. The only thing I knew about you is that you like wrestling, but I ain't seen <laughs> you in like ten years. I ain't even like you still <laughs> fuck with John Cena, nigga. Yeah, like yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I fuck with John Cena, nigga. <laughs> that nigga, he, 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 he gonna be on Monday Night Raw in a couple of weeks. If y'all didn't know, me and Nicholas are childhood <laughs> friends. I don't know who Nicholas is. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga is, but need Jack, yeah, him, me, yeah. We are childhood friends. Our mothers work together. You used to uh, leave me on the code. Yeah, I'm gonna say it every time. This nigga here. <laughs> this nigga uh, here. Why, uh, who, the fuck pull up, work. who the fuck pulls us? Who pulls up at somebody's house at three in the morning? Somebody who know they come. <laughs> somebody who hey, know. That why would expected. I just be woke? It, I'm, I'm damn. You should know, bro. I'm seven years old. I ain't got no alarm clock. Like, how the fuck I supposed to know he don't outside? Matter, bro. They call matter. it out here. Shit. <laughs> it don't matter. I but yeah, it. ten years later, I want, I'm working with the same group. Man, that, that SummerSlam was crazy, wasn't it? Like, I ain't for just walking to you and saying nothing like that. You remember backlash for t- 2006? What, with John Cena, Triple H, and Edge here fought each other? That's what I'm saying, bro. That shit <laughs> ugly, bro. It's like, I'm sure it probably could have worked because, like, you know what I'm saying? We still do have that part, but it's like, Nigga, niggas I, change, bro. If I would have saw y'all been like, you still like Naruto? <laughs> I would have told you, absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, man, you, no, you, was in your, you was doing your thing, man. You was in your athletic bag. I was like, all oh, that nigga. Shit, you know, you know how uh, Nancy classified me. I, I had already put you in the box. I was like, oh, that nigga's a high school jock now. No, but I said, them. this nigga's changed. Well, <laughs> no, He's one of the cool kids. Hell no. <laughs> man, you got to scope out the scene, bro. You got to make sure you like the same nigga. And I was like, we never even had class. I said, like, I, I never know. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I never ain't, know. ain't see you had back then. So you, you, you think everybody think you just a whore? Yeah? You just a slut, a smut. They shouldn't. Stuff. But like, I do get that. Uh, Mut. Not even from like digital pr- uh, footprint. Like, I get that shit. Like, people, people first. See. First impression. Cause like I told you uh, not too long ago, when I had first became a manager at Hewitt Town, I ain't even much introduced myself. Like, it was my first day. <clears throat> so I'm going to like meet my people because I got like a whole list of uh, names. 
and these people need breaks, so I got to learn everybody so I can make sure they get their breaks on time. And as I'm going up to, like, learn some names, right. basically, <laughs> I was like, oh, you Reggie? I was like, yeah. Right. Was like, oh, my God. I'm professional. My mother. <laughs> takes I can't talk right now. I'm professional. I make the stew. <laughs> but, yeah, I walked up to him, trying to introduce myself, learn everybody. Off the real, man. And they was like, oh, you got a girlfriend? I was like, no. It's like, I ain't got a lot of ideas. Say, what's that? But uh, oh, they said, what now? Like, you got a girlfriend? I was like, what's that? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> but that's what I ain't hear them, bro. I ain't hear what they said the first time. So it was like, what's that? As in, like, what you said. But, like, they was like, told you. I knew that nigga was a whore. I was like, whoa, knew it. I said, this is my second day. <laughs> so it was my third day out here. <laughs> so I'm like, you knew it. Like, how the fuck y'all even know what I look like? I've been, yeah. I've been in the back doing orientation for like four days. Like, I literally walk in, go straight to the back. I look like a customer. That nigga was in a dungeon, boy. If you ain't got no vest or nothing. So I just walk in. Well, they know, like, the little uh, personnel spot, like, right there with the bathrooms at, too. So. Well, I ain't know. I'm just coming that whole blowing the bathroom down here. Yeah, boy, that got well, that I ain't know. <laughs> the B stands for bubble gum. <laughs>